this video we are going to look at two types of cranked connection one is a simple miter another one is a crank connection with the plate in the middle now let us look at the simple miter connection here so I got two beams here on the screen I'm going to pick up the miter connection so that's in this toolbar fall down and here's the miter so I select that and then I select one beam press space bar select the other beam and then press space bar and here is the connection so we have a few options here we can investigate that one I'm not going to look, investigate anything right now you can have a little bit of a gap if you wish uh, then these ones I don't know what that does it draws draws that line create weld mostly you want the weld here okay update now and that's connection is done now let us look at the cranked beam connection so I pick that tool from here and here's the crank beam connection so I'm, it's already in my favorite select that select object I select that one press space bar select the second object place the space bar and it comes up with this uh, connection so I have a few options here I can set the plate thickness I can set a plate gap uh, there are various other options here uh, weld yes we want to weld all around put that what for a weld yeah okay and update now and then you get the connection that's the connection so if I want to modify the connection I select the double click the join box and the connection comes up and I'm going to change the plate a little bit plate dimensions I'm going to add 10 millimeters everywhere so you can see 3 4 5 6 3 4 5 6 I'm going to add 10 mill each so 10 copy that so you can see the joint uh, updating uh, as I enter and here is the update joint and update now and that's the connection hi guys thank you for watching the video and if you like the video please subscribe